Hi everyone, it's Ki. Going to do more perfect date. And I think she get on some romance. Ooh. <gasps> Why does he not love us anymore? She can only romance one at a time? Mm, okay. Right. So I was showing you my tent. Typical for me to get cook duty on the hottest day so far. I step out for a moment to try and catch some air. I love the music. <laughs> Piss. I'm not sure if I really heard something or if I'm, the dehydration is great to me. I take a swig from my water bottle. Hey, aren't you gonna share, Kara? Oh, McMurphy, was that you pissing me? What are you suggesting, Kara? I only use a designated litter area. <laughs> No, you're incorrigible. You know exactly what I meant. Kara, never mind all that. I have work to do. I am working. I'm supposed to be cooking for this evening. I mean work for the adventuring in my variety. Of course you do. Oh, come on, don't be such a bore. Sorry, Big Murphy, I can't. I'm very busy here. I'm going to take hours to be first and braise this meat from, from the mainland. Well, if you come with me, you may end up providing a much tastier dish in half the time. What do you say, Carl? Yep, for the crake. What do you say? I mean, should I just buck off? That's the spirit. Strip off your apron. Let's hit the trail. But I can't. Just what if someone comes looking for me? <laughs> Leave them in the garden fishing. <laughs> no. Maybe it's the heat, but I'm overcome for the moment of madness. Well, it's all well, okay then. You wild Irish river, all those. Ah, now there's a thought. <laughs> Before I can say he slunk into the he slunk into the thickening of the forest behind the clay cooking pots, whip up my apron and follow behind. Wait no, it's too hot to run. When we really ought to cool ourselves off then. He's led me up to the cliffs and without warning takes a running jump off the edge. I see him flying through the air and watch mesmerize as he cuts through the water. Oh no, no, are you okay? Don't panic, I'm coming. Kick off my flip flops and shorts and follow me into the water. I'm surprised how shallow it is and I'm easily able to stand. Oh, where are you? Friendly search about. Feeling for his safety and suddenly feeling something brush against my legs, making me scream out loud. What's that? Look down into the clear water and see that he's speeding along the seabed like a shark, fast asleep, suddenly breaking up through the surface with somewhat, something in his mouth. Oh, if you can swim, what on earth is that thing? Oh my, it's a fish! I can see him smiling. Even with the sprout in the way, you can fish. He spits the fish back into the water. There truly is no end to my talents, Kara. If you can say that again, but, but I have so many questions I don't even know where to start. Catch your breath. I know I'm accelerating company. You need to exercise a little bit of restraint. We'll be swinging on me next. Relax. The salt water is very buoyant. 
copy my perfume with butterfly on my back since I was very calming and tranquil. Finally able to collect my thoughts, realize I've not had this much clarity in a long time. This is so cool. I know Trixie took me here first. Calls it the pond upon. But can you all swim then? I thought cats didn't even finish my sentence for cats in. It's a common misconception that cats can't swim. As you can see, it's another thing we excel at. So humble too. <laughs> As an animal monkey used to say, if you've got a trumpet, blow it. What about the fish? Where did they come from? There are no birds or fish on this island. It's one of the first things they tell you at orientation. That's because they don't know. Don't know what. Let's put out this birds over there in the sky. See that? Yeah, that drives it. <laughs> I'd express it if I just show you. Come on, Kara, follow me. I swim for a while, it brings big breath and leaving the world with purpose, and then he stops. Well, notice anything interesting? Well, the water's so much cooler and deeper here. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Can you feel anything? I sat perfectly still for a moment and began to feel a strange sensation around my legs, like a warm trickling under the water. McMurphy, are you peeing? Don't <laughs> be so cool. Carrot, it's a, a carrot. Look over there. I refocused my eye until I see what I thought was a rock shallow. Um, shadow moving. It comes close to until into focus. I realize it's the shoal of small fish starting in and out of one particular spot. What is that? I don't understand what I'm looking at. Is it enough to see, Karen, to experience? You always have to understand everything. Well, yes. It's my job. It's who I am, Murphy. I'm a scientist. It's my DNA to seek to understand. Come on then, scientist. Let's take a closer look. I moved closer to the area where the fish are gathering. I put my hand down and realized that I could touch them. I even picked them up, but something is stopping them from swimming further inland. I'm sure if we need to get going. I'm going to be in big trouble if I'm away for any longer. But thank you for showing me this. Definitely going to come back here yeah, and try to understand it. I won't waste your time, Carl. It wouldn't be a waste. I'm curious to find out. And all he cuts across me as I'm speaking. I meant coming back to these particular spots. The fishes won't be here. Oh, I see it's only at certain times in a different location. It changes all the time. There's no pattern to it either. You'll just be sticking pins in maps, Kara. Pushy because I saw them this morning, chance they'll be gone by this afternoon. The disappointment must be part of my face. Yes, McMurphy's which is laying in super fast and to distract me. Okay, carrots, time to strip off. Huh? A t shirt would make a lovely net. Let's go fishing. Huh? Um, I see. Let's go fishing. Huh? I'll pop my top and use it as a net to scoop as many fish as possible. It's quite effective. Great idea, McMurphy. Now you can wrestle up this hasty fish supper in no time. And you get to enjoy my company for an extra hour. Win win card. Okay, so now I have a little challenge for you. That's. I'm using too many bears. That's Halley, Courtney, more brain teaser. How am I going to explain? Rest our team, this bountiful ocean offering. We'll tell them anything at all, because they're going to notice that we're eating something that wasn't on the delivery list. On the menu, filter. And it tastes way too fresh for something recently defrosted. You worry too much about things that really don't matter, Carla. I know he's right. I could do with loosening up a little bit, but this is a pretty big dilemma, really. Maybe I ought to tell Professor Paul about this. What's the harm? I can stop splashing around. Looks like me squirming in the eye. 
there would be harm Kara, trust me on that. Obviously I didn't mean don't mean to tell him about you or anything that would endanger any of us. Just that I noticed the shell of fish and I took some end off. Really think you could mention this phenomenon like this? That would be the end of it. Like he would start putting all manner of investigations and disruptions in place. No. No. Touchingly and naive, my friend. I feel like self blush. Are you getting a bit naive? I'm being a bit naive, but I don't think. I don't like the thought of lying. What do you suggest then? If you don't know so much about everything, give me a plausible story and I'll follow through. I feel like it's had a wild hell that splashes water at me. That's what I like to hear you perch your stead on you. I splash him back with a fierce water fight. Serious. We're making such ruckus. I'm amazed no one comes to check what's going on after a good 10 minutes of laughter and play. I ran out of steam and float in the buoyant warm water. Let's hear it then, Oz. What's my cover story? So it's a poor case of reason. Bluffing. Okay. Make a simple but delicious meal. If anyone should ask where the fish came from, shrug your shoulders and ask the same question, huh? It's all in the poker face. Remain completely impassive. And ask the same questions. Yeah, I wonder that too. Where did the fish come from? They're delicious. Really? Just your cat, as a cat, who's forever risking one of his nine lives. Simply, you simply, simply, eh, simply you keep it, the more they buy it. If you ask where you got them from, you tell them my fridge. Sit. I feel geeky at the prospect of getting away with the ruse. Okay, Mary, let's get it this summer. Have abundance in no time and haul my catch back to the kitchen in good time to make a tasty meal for everyone. A little extra for my feline pals. We should have a rest. In my class at the university, the tutors are always late, and we're all sitting waiting. I turn to my friend. She sits behind me and makes a joke about the tutors can't bring him down. Now, my friend isn't here. There. Instead, there's a giant cat. Whoa. It looks <laughs> like an elder. It bears its teeth at me and lets out a menacing low growl. Just as I'm about to swear the tutor arrives, but it's Professor Pauper. What the hell is going on here? Look like you've seen a ghost, Catalina. Trying to answer back and tell him to look behind me, but the words won't come out. I read you with fear. Can't move, can't speak, can't scream. Everyone else is acting like things are normal. Can't I see it? The wall. What is all this? The cats with tentacles now. I was forced <laughs> myself to turn again and look the terrifying cat, but it's not there. It's just an ordinary domestic cat, and everyone is laughing at me. Now I see everyone from the island. The marigolds, Joe, Bob, Zay, Pauper, all pointing and laughing. This is an eye. Ugh. I jump out of my seat to leave, and I'm in bed in my tent. It's that bolt wrap right. Shouldn't be since she's so close to bedtime. Should <laughs> this more romance? Yeah. I don't know. Can't 
group in the other than Sotty Boaty doesn't me anymore. Fine, group refugees. It's too beautiful day to be slaving in a hot lab. So when Murphy invited me out for a stroll, it was easy to say yes. Not that I needed much incentive to spend time with him. He was very engaging company. We've come to one of my favourite spots where the clips sweep up with the above the blue water. Suddenly, with anyone, Murphy plunges over the top of the tower of rocks. I run to the cliff's edge with my heart in my mouth to see what happened. There's a sight I still haven't got used to. He's in the water. More otter than cat, waving me to follow. Jump cat, jump sure the water's grand. Murphy, I'm shocked, but the shield is in my voice. I had intended to be quite such a shriek as every for stern abolishment. That's so dangerous, could you could do yourself serious energy or worse from such a height. Oh bish, come on, Kara. You won't get to see the little surprise I have in store. You really surprised me enough for one day. <gasps> Which one of us is meant to be the pussy? <laughs> At this little <laughs> And that takes over my brain. Before I know it, I'm halfway between ledge and water, bracing for impact. This way. Still catching my breath, but Murphy's head disappears under the surface. My mind is saying, no, this is ridiculous. Get back to land. This instant, but my body follows the Irish cat. My eyes take a moment to adjust. When they do, I can hardly believe what I'm looking at. It's a ship. As we approach ship from the stone, looks pretty much intact. I see the name on the rear. Port side. <laughs> Sorry, have a little cat. What's cat up? I've got one. <laughs> I can see the name on the real full side. And then faded and worn away in parts. The words are unmistakable. Kitty's desire. My head is swimming due to the excitement and the lack of oxygen. I plunder to the surface to catch my breath. Kitty's desire. I feel like I know that name. Big Murphy eventually pops up to join the surface. Surprised? A shipwreck here? It's a very old island car. A lot has happened here. But how did the ship even get here before the path was made? You don't ask me. I'm just here for the grog. If actually smiles, dives back into the murky depths I follow. A f what? Oh, a flailing flesh bag in comparison to Murphy's sleep figure. I try to get closer to look on the wreckage. It's a big ship. Likely a trading vessel, judging from the size. It's hard to tell how old it is, but it certainly isn't modern, maybe 18th, 19th century. When we enter the ship from the huge hole in the stern, we realize what a lot of vessels is. Actually, on land, it's obvious that it is rational after it's damaged at sea. There's not much time to ponder the mechanics of what happened as Big Murphy is tugging at my t shirt with his right paw, while gesting to his other paw outstretched to the cabin he wants me to enter. I'm grateful for the air trapped inside and gas for breath. He kind of look. Hang on, let me catch my. But he has already ducked into the next cell. How is he not out of breath? Realize his ability to swim out of water is unusually strong, but he barely breaks the surface at all. In here, through the hole. Sounds really excited as I enter. I see why. There in the center is a chest. It's wedged between a wall and a surprisingly well preserved writing desk, the only thing preventing it from falling, being buried in the set. A treasure chest! I sound like a geeky child, I feel embarrassed, but remember if he trains to be Mikey, the silly witch, cheering and laughing together. Go and then open it, Kara. Okay. What are you waiting for? The key. 
lucky? Ah, does it need one? Well, of course it does. It's a luxury chest. Can you not just break the lock? Who do you think I am? Houdini? I don't know about that. I do know you're a very clever scientist who thirst for knowledge matches my thirst for work. So you get yours and I'll go get mine. <laughs> Moggy grins before darting into the next cabin. And I hear a familiar clicking bottle shortly after. <laughs> I decide to try the lock anyway. While Mur Murphy's getting his. Look around something, anything I could leave it with. I'm disappointed. Everything except the chest and desk must have been washed away a long time ago. I have to come back with some tools to tackle this lock. There comes no response. Murphy is still too busy with his looting and pillaging. So I decide to swim to the beach and get a better look at the wreck from there. When I can take the scene properly, I can make out what it looks like. Another large ship just a bit further down the beach. Can't believe what I'm seeing. One huge sea vessel got its way over this island strange enough. But two meeting the same unhappy fate in more than my brain can process. The proximity of the pair would suggest a collision of some kind, possibly the second vessel could have been a pirate ship. Maybe it was attacking the merchant vessel. I get the feeling I'm looking at the conclusion of a very interesting story here. I wonder why Professor Porter didn't tell me about this. Obviously he must be aware of the two vessels. My nose for entry has started to twitch and I'm bearing no more. I decided to take the debris, spent as a small chunks of metal and pocket it for later analyze in the lab. When it satisfies authority, come to the beach for specimens I have salvaged anything of interest. I realize that I haven't seen it in quite a while. Well. My heart stops, my hairs on my neck start stand on end. How could I have been so wrapped up from help and neglect to keep an eye on my friend? Oh, Murphy? I met with silence in still water. I ran back towards Kitty's desire, my heart thumping in my chest. Like Murphy! I jumped into the sea and swam back to the stern of the ship. There doesn't seem to be any life around here. Break through the surface for the choke and try to call out again, but my throat. This horse is full of salt water. Where? I catch like Shadow and Michael from my eye calling among the sea back. I dive under to get a better look at Bisley. That's the Irish type. Stalking, prowling as if he were on land. <laughs> I quickly grab him by the scruff of the neck and drag him back to shore. Make both of you know what on earth were you playing at? I catch my breath and check on him, but he's happily rolling on his back in the sand. Me as having a grand time till you manhandled me with those big meaty paws of yours. Um, do I get serious or let it, uh, let it go? Big me, what? Charming, I must say. I hope you know I was very worried about you. I fully appreciate car hump meaty paws. You're right. Cheeky butt. Maybe I've started laughing, it's too infectious not to join in. See it slowly, but that was some very impressive breath control. Didn't see you come for ever once. I think I get it from my mother, God bless her, with you. She had fantastic lungs. Do you remember her? Flashes sometimes, but. Um, put him on that rock. I have all kinds of flashes, so who knows what's real and what isn't. I can feel his nudging me off that subject, so I respect his privacy. What do you know about these two beauties then? We survey the ship's asylum for a moment or two. I know that they've been a source of great pleasure for me, Kara. Beyond that, I don't really care too much. Really, are an important of Hinduism. 
take this as a compliment, Kara. I can't help but laugh. You would. There's worse things in life than a little pressure. True. A little balance may be even better. And that's where you come in, huh? You bring a <laughs> balance to me, Kara. You let me be me, but you help me stay safe. Yes, I suppose so. Bring some spice to what might otherwise be a rather bland side of this taste. McMurphy's green eye glitches in the sunlight. He throws me a wink. Come on then, swishbuckler. I need something to eat after all that venturing. We'll get back to camp if you promise to save your beautiful friendly tour guide. Yes, new unlocks a pirate's tail. Some extra looks. And look something. Ooh, you have an extra button. What does this do? Oh. So there's all these, but I've got. So there's a different story? Guess so. Oh. I think we'll investigate this little button tomorrow. But if you've enjoyed this one, if it's hit the like button, let me know down in the comments how you're enjoying our little adventure so far. If you haven't yet, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell keeps you updated with all my videos and in the meantime everyone be safe and bye